Potomac Beads. Join me in making this circular peyote earring. It's very, very simple to learn and is a great useful stepping tool in order to learn how to do bezels as well as so much more. Gather up your materials, which you probably have on hand, but if you need any, check out the links below the video to shop with us online at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. So to get started with our super simple circular peyote, we are going to begin with a series of 15-0 and then 11-0 seed beads. We're gonna progress from 15s to two rows of 11s to one row of 8-0 seed bead. I'm using the Duracoat Galvanized Champagne in the 15-0 as well as that in the 8-0. In the 11-0, I'm using the Crystal Labrador Fool, all Mayuki brand. I have on a series of 12 repeats of 15-0, 11-0, 15-11, 15-11, and I have these on about four feet of white beading thread. I'm going to tie this into a knot, and I did put these on with a size 12 needle, a 10 will also work. And I'm gonna tie this into a loop. You wanna make sure when you tie it into a loop that you will have only about an inch to two inches after the loop. Give a nice tight pull and make sure that knot is tight. Now I tied the knot right after the 11 OC bead having come off of that. So I'm gonna go through my first 15, 11, 15, 11, and then bring my needle out. What I'm gonna do now is add a row of 11 OC beads. I'm gonna add an 11 O, skip over the 15, and sew through the 11 that's already there. We're gonna be connecting on to the 12 11 OC beads that are already there and adding 12 more. Add an 11, skip over the 15, and sew through the next 11 in line. You're doing this the whole way around in your circle adding in one and sewing into the next 11. So it's very easy to learn because you know that you're sewing into the 11 after you add an 11. This is gonna make a new row of 11s sit up in this circular peyote. What happens as we go around and add beads is our circle becomes bigger and the space between our beads becomes bigger as well. So there's more space going to be between the second row of 11s than there is between the first. That's gonna naturally create this circular peyote stitch. Circular peyote stitch is gonna be a little bit different than tubular because tubular starts to go upward and go into a tube. Circular kind of continues outward. As I go in here and turn, I'm gonna kind of just push that stop tail or that starter tail down along the project, going in then here. I have my last 11 out, and you may notice that it starts to get a little bit tight. That's natural. Go in here, add your last 11 out, and as you add your last 11 out, I want you to go through that first 11 out that your thread was coming out of, the original 11 out, Give a nice tight yank and tight pull. You should notice all the 15 sitting towards the interior. And then we're gonna sew through the first 11 OC bead that we just added on this row of 12 11s. We're now gonna add our 12 eights. So we're gonna pick up an eight, and you'll notice that the 11s basically are sticking up. Pick up an eight, sew through the 11. We're doing this the whole way around. And there's enough room now in my exterior line of my peyote stitch for the eights to easily fit in there. So I'm just circling around the whole thing, adding in my eights along with my, or through my 11s. So I add an eight, sew through the 11 sticking up. Add an eight, throw sew through an 11 sticking up. Couple more to add here. And then you can keep going if you want to. When you're doing circular peyote, you wanna think about the fact that you don't wanna pull the exterior row too tight or it will start to kind of waffle. 
When I'm here, I'm going to sew through my 11 OC bead that my thread was originally coming out of, and then I'm going to step up to my 8 OC bead. Now here, if you want to, you can put on your wire guard, add an 11 OC bead, add your wire guard back down through the 11, circle around two times, and then just knot off and burn off your thread. Or if you want to, you can actually connect these together to make a nice little drop as well. So you do one form, finish it off, tie off the extra threads, and then you can do another form if you want to do that as well. Or like I'm doing, keeping them very, very simple. So you can go up here, add one of your 11 O's, grab one of your wire guards, and I'm using the gold color of my wire guards. Get one out from my box here. Go through the wire guard, and if you're unfamiliar with a wire guard, it has a little bit of a trench almost. You're going to go through and add one more 11, and go back through the 8 OC bead. Oops, sorry, I forgot to come down the other side of my wire guard. Back out, take that 11 off, go down through the other side of your wire guard, since it's like a little U channel. There we go. Now add your 11, and back into the 8 from the opposite direction. Now if you want to, please comment below and let people know what they can do with this design. I mean, it's endless and countless. You can start a spiral pattern as well if you want to. You can think about like, okay, how am I going bigger to smaller? You can keep going, you can expand it, and you can really have fun with this circular peyote, even if it's in such a simple pattern as this, going from 11, 15s to 11s to 8s. Now to reinforce and to get rid of my thread, I'm just going to sew down into my design along the peyote stitch, making sure that I'm not going to see any extra thread. And remember this first original thread was already tied off, so you don't need to worry about tying onto that one. I'm going to sew halfway down through my peyote stitch. And then simply go in after I'm halfway down. Because it's an earring, there's not a ton of pressure on it to pull it open. I'm going to end it right here. Grab my thread burner or my thread zap, heat it up, burn off my extra thread ends, and then burn that thread end down. All I have to do then is slide it onto my ear wires and my circular peyote stitch earrings are finished. Thanks so much for joining me in making these super simple circular peyote stitch earrings. Again, you can do so much with this pattern, so many different design ideas and colors and ways to work it. I wanted to show the most simple way because we're gonna progress and in a couple videos from now, you're gonna see how we take this super simple bezel and start to build on top of it and encase in one of our crystals. As always, if you need any materials, check out the links below to shop with us online at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. Also remember to check out the comments because people are great at becoming helpers and really building up this community. And if you know something that you wanna share as far as some tricks or tips or helpful hints, please do so in the comments below. You can also share this video as well as give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, click that little button in the corner to subscribe to get regular updates from us here at Potomac Beads. Stay healthy and stay safe everyone and enjoy learning this new circular peyote stitch.